me. What's up, no. <laughs> we doing another beer review? I was wondering where the hell you were. <laughs> I was like, where did he go? Oh yeah. I think she was too. Another beer review. Another beer review. What do you give this one, Nova? Just kidding. What's up, guys? How's it going? Another episode of Brad and Brittany. And Nova too, I guess. She wants. Yeah, to, I guess she it's wants BBN now. She wants in on this beer, don't you? So that's what we got today. It's called Citrus Paradisi IPA. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Copper Kettle Brewing in Denver, one of the 180 breweries in Denver. Is there really 180? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were just Yeah, if like, you're looking for somewhere to go get hammered and have head. a lot of different breweries and types of beer to drink, go to Denver. So yeah, we got Citrus Paradisi. It's a hazy IPA ale, 6.3% alcohol. This wind is beautiful. It feels amazing today. It says it's got some grapefruit flavor, so I'm kind of interested so yeah. in the grapefruit. Oh, we got a couple of beers that have been not what we think when we totally, look at the, the totally. name, so I guess we're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Ready? Me too. <laughs> See that? Yeah, I think you Slide hit. I need to slow motion that. <laughs> you hit some like on me. Mmm, smells it good? good. Oh yeah, I can kind of smell the grapefruit. Can it. you? Well, yeah. Hmm. Like kicked me in the face. Oh. Is that really sweet? Yeah. That's like, I don't taste an IPA in there at all. That's very citrusy. I feel like I taste the IPA at the very, very end. Mm -hmm. Just very subtle, though. super subtle. Mm -hmm. It's not like an IPA kick you in the face, do no, a backflip. No, no. I definitely Nothing taste crazy. the citrus. Um, do you taste the grapefruit in it? Oh, yeah. I feel like the grapefruit's like right away. Mm -hmm. And then the hoppy ale mm -hmm. is like right at the end. Very light bodied beer, I'd yeah. say. Um, Let's drink some more. <laughs> Jays. <laughs> oh yeah, it says right there. Down the hatch. For all day enjoyment. Yeah. Well, here we are, chilling on the grass. I like it. Yeah, and it's got some girl like cutting a grapefruit in half with her samurai sword. Maybe I'll do that later. She's hardcore. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's good. Yeah, very light. It like is very I feel light. like that's not even a beer. All right. <laughs> so we got some grapefruit flavor with an IPA, mm -hmm. a haze IPA. Mm -hmm. um, as far as flavor and stuff like that goes, like I said, I got the grapefruit at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Towards the end, I got the high hoppy IPA. Yeah. And I feel like it's it's a pretty damn good mix of everything together. It is. It is. It's a very perfect beer for an afternoon like yeah. today, like a summer. Yeah, I feel like the proportion of the whole beer is is in line with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like some beers have this being way higher, like the hoppiness or the sweetness, or some just they're not. They're off kilter, but mm -hmm. I feel like this one is like on the money. Yeah. So not definitely. gonna lie, Copper Kettle, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. This is a good beer. So uh, as far as my review goes, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna probably give it like a 7.8. Actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna give it like an 8.2. Oh, you're two. changing. 8.2. It's it's really good beer. It's a really good beer. I I definitely enjoy it. Um, definitely gonna be buying some more of this. Yeah, it's good. Let me taste one more time. So 8.2 my revised review um yeah i enjoy it uh there's really nothing bad i have to say about it it's a really good solid beer and i enjoy the grapefruit taste because i know there's some i've not really had a lot of beers with grapefruit something different yeah and i kind of enjoy it so for me i'm gonna put it at eight eight yeah. eight point two and eight it's really good really good summer beer since we're coming right into summer oh my god yeah so cool all right well till next time like, subscribe, comment, let us know your requests. And if you want to come on the show, we're more than welcome to have you. We'd love it. And uh, let us know. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.